how do we define a differential equation? Well, it's a very simple definition, which is that a differential equation is an equation containing independent variables, dependent variables, and differential coefficients of dependent variable with respect to the independent variable. Well, as I said, it's a simple definition, but then it is simple because I've used a lot of difficult terms in it. So even though the definition is simple, it contains a lot of complex words in it. So I have to explain, we have to understand what the complex words means so that the definition becomes simple enough. Even though the topic is not simple, it is a very deep topic, but then the definition is simple enough and it is almost exact. A differential equation is an equation containing independent variables, dependent variables, certain constants, and most importantly, differential coefficients of the dependent variable with respect to the ind independent variable. What do we mean by dependent variable and independent variable? This is probably a term that we have not come across till now, or we've understood it in a very cursory manner. And many times our teachers do not really explain to us what they mean. So what do we mean by independent and dependent variable? Well, we cannot explain these terms independent of each other. That is, we cannot, we cannot explain these terms separately. We have to, uh, we have to explain them in tandem with each other. So we have seen equations like y is equal to some expression containing x, right? Like, I'll just write these for, for some examples. y is equal to, say, sine of x. y is equal to x squared minus 1 divided by x minus 2 times x minus 4. A rational function. y is equal to 5 to the power of 2x. Just three examples in an ocean of possible examples. Now, what is something that is generally common to each of these three equations that I've written? It is that on the left side, we have only a single variable y, and on the right side, we have different complex terms containing x, all of them containing x. Like for example, the first equation that I wrote contains a trigonometric function sine of the value of x. The second example contains x in algebraic role. The third one contains x in an exponential role. So when we substitute different values of x, we get different values of y. And we have also learned in the chapter of functions, or at least in the introductory calculus part, on how to plot functions. How do we plot functions? We consider different values of x, and depending upon what the nature of the function is, we get different values of y, and then we form coordinates, and we then join those coordinates, and we get the graph of the function. So here, first, that thing that we do is we substitute different values of x, and based on that, we get the values of y. And therefore, when such a thing happens, when we have to change the value of y, based on the nature of the function as well as the value of x, we get y as the dependent variable and x as the independent variable. We say this because y, the value of y, depends on the value of x as well as, of course, the nature of the function. Depending upon the nature of the function, y will increase linearly, it will increase slowly, or it will increase very fast based on whether the function is an algebraic function or a trigonometric function or whether it is an exponential function. If it is an exponential function, talking about in generally, of course, the value of y increases very fast. Whereas if it is a logarithmic function, it increases slowly. And all the, all the functions in between. And thus, we have y as the dependent variable and x as the independent variable. Many times, in the place of x, we have uh, differential equations which have spatial coordinates. So they have the coordinates of x, y, and z as the, the independent variable, and some other physical quantity as the dependent variable. 
But then in the mathematics that we have studied up to now, y is the dependent variable and x is the independent variable. And so, but then the question arises, does this mean that always y is the dependent variable and x is the independent, inde independent variable? No, that really depends upon the equation that we have in hand. So these equations that I wrote are equations which have y expressed in, in some form of x. So x forms an expression and depending upon the nature of that expression, the value of y changes. That is why we say that x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable. It is also possible to express x in terms of y. For example, we have x is equal to 4y square. Now this is an equation in which y is the independent variable and x is the dependent variable as opposed to the, the first three equations that we wrote. So therefore, the role of dependent and independent variable changes. Of course, there's another way to write this. We can write this as y is equal to square root of x divided by 2, in which case the x becomes the uh, independent variable and y becomes a dependent variable. Many times it is possible to express a single variable y in terms of some expression containing x as well as the reverse. So depending upon which way it is, we change the roles of the dependent and independent variables. Graphically speaking, suppose we have two examples. Let us look at the graph one. The green colored graph that you see is the graph of y is equal to sine of modulus of x. And the blue colored graph that you see, it almost looks like the green colored graph has been turned by 90 degrees. That is the graph of the inverse of this function. That is a graph of x is equal to sine inverse of y. That is modulus of x is equal to sine inverse y. Similarly, on the right hand side, you have another graph. The red colored graph is the graph of y is equal to sine x. So what about the blue colored graph? The blue colored graph is the inverse of this function. And so you can write x is equal to sine of y. So you can see here in the red colored graph, x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable. Whereas in the blue colored graph, the reverse happens. y is the independent variable and x is the dependent variable. And so this, I hope, helps in your understanding of the difference between differential uh, the difference between dependent and independent variables. Mm -hmm.